Hopefully the rain sounds aren't too overpowering. But here's some Brockton Bay. Uh, I'm sitting outside right now though, which is why you can hear the rain better. Because I'm not super well mentally. And seeing outside, not in the rain, but listening to it is always nice. But for Brockton Bay, when we left off, the hero just got some new crafting powers that were focused around aesthetics. Hell, most capes outside of the portrait and major gangs fell into that category. I'd seen form thuds joking about the number of capes whose debut costume was either a ski mask or a hoodie. I thought back to the bracer currently resting in my workshop. The bulky hinge, the crude weld lines, the ill-fitting bend of the material. My mind was suddenly filled with a thousand ways I could have done that better. None of them would have improved the protection or accessibility of the item. Would have made it look like something that was made by a professional, rather than a 12-year-old left unsupervised in a metal workshop. I badly needed more crafting skills. I had a very limited ability to make things, but with this power, at least everything I made would look excellent even if it wouldn't function any better than whatever crude thing I could pull together. I made a point to check some of the book stands before I left. If I could get a couple how-to books, I might be able to make a decent progress on a costume. Since my durability boost extended to my clothing, it really didn't matter if the costume I pulled together was terrible quality or poorly made. It would hold up as long as I had a piece of armor to buff it. I knew enough metal work to get something functional bashed together, and this part would make sure it looked good. That did mean I would have to completely rebuild my bracer. It should be a bit easier this time now that I'm not making things up as I go. Still, that was hours of work wasted. That's the life of a tinker, I suppose. It never stops. One interesting thing that was concerning connecting with this power didn't make all the didn't take up all the reach I had built. Rather than start from zero, I still had about half of what I had accumulated. The next time a constellation came within range, I would have a much better chance of making a connection to a new power. It was an interesting aspect of the mechanics, and anything that helped me get on my feet faster was good by me. And the best I was able to find were a pair of soccer shin guards. They weren't that tough, but I should be able to wear one without attracting attention. I could probably copy the design and make something out of steel when I had a chance, which would give me better protection close to what I got for my bracer without attracting attention. The book search turned up dry. The only how-to book I found was the basics of carpentry. I would really do better at a used bookstore for that, and that's assuming I didn't end up with my power giving me enough technical knowledge to make everything in those books redundant. So I killed two hours and gotten a pair of shin guards out of it. Grant it, they came at rock bottom prices, but I had got had to get better at managing my time. I actually had some projects now, considering I had a crafting boosting power, if a completely superficial one. But I also needed to get to the gym. I promised myself I wouldn't let my workouts lapse because of tinkering. If I wanted to exist outside of the workshop or lab, I would need to be able to handle myself in a fight. But that meant training was essential, which meant not skipping my workouts just because I had a shiny new ability. So I left the chaos of the market, looped back through the docks to my apartment, and grabbed my gym bag and snack. The food requirements for trying to build muscles were absolutely insane. When you had to eat, but you had to eat the ratios before or after workout, it was nuts. I honestly missed the days where I could just focus on distance running. The gym was fairly quiet, and I was able to power through my training without much issue. I finished with a long cool down and a set of fishes, and headed back home. I made an early dinner, then headed straight into my workshop. The first thing I did was try to recreate my bracer. Fortunately, the stock of materials constantly refreshed. I didn't know if it would be possible to deplete it with a major project, but none of the lights work, light works I had done so far had made a dent in it. All the materials I have in stock are basic stuff, standard grade steel, aluminum, and other materials. I have a sheet and bar stock, a small supply of simple mechanical parts like hinges and latches. Nothing high tech or even cutting edge. No exotic alloys or treated metals, nothing fiber reinforced, nothing more advanced than higher end hobby work. 
it did mean I didn't have to worry about restocking. With the state of my finances, that was a godsend. Once I got some better crafting abilities, I don't guess at what I would be capable of. Most likely, I would run into a block in terms of tools and supplies. This was fine for simple projects like this one, but I would need a supply of more advanced components to put things out on the level of a professional thinker. Uh, I'm going to have to stop there because it's getting a little too cold to sit out here and keep doing this for right now. Thanks for listening, if anyone's even been listening. And I hope you can actually hear this.